Hey, hey guys, happy Friday, TGIF, I saw in the comments. How is everyone tonight? Thank you so much for joining me today. We're just gonna have a chill night. We're gonna unwind a little bit. We're gonna try some new makeup. We've got a really good mix of luxury makeup with some rounded out thoughts on a luxury foundation. We have some indie, we have drugstore. I mean, we're doing all of it, all of it. So, what's going on my honeys? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, Beauty in the Frizz. I knew, I wore this shirt for you, actually. I thought you might like it. I thought about like buttoning it all the way up like a G, you know, like you like to do, but I'm not that cool, I can't pull it off. Anyway, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, I am excited. I want to chill. I haven't had wine all week. I did have a couple drinks last night, but um, I just want to hang out with you guys, have a good time, talk about makeup, see what everybody's up to. Um, thanks, Molly. You're so sweet. Hi, Daphne. Hi, Rupi. Hi, everyone. I see everyone. And Nara, how are you, doll? I um, During the live, make sure and like if you like what you see. Definitely share the live. That's how our channels, our videos, our lives get out there. So I always appreciate you guys doing that. You guys are so sweet and I see a lot of you guys doing it. So thank you for that. I have a couple things going on because when I say tonight is all about makeup and chill, like it's all about makeup and chill. Okay. So what we're going to do is I want to talk about how Yachty is unwinding, simmering down. I've had the craziest day to the craziest week for all, so I'm not complaining, but you guys see my little light going on. I've recently started to get back into my essential oils just to kind of help me get grounded, and so I have two essential oils that I blended tonight. I have my Siberian fur. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera because it's so, so good, and then I also have my lavender, and I'm just like, I'm trying to chill tonight, guys. Now, I know you guys know that I'm not doing wine during the week anymore. It's just kind of a little like health checkup, health challenge that Dr. Ash and um, Beauty and the Frizz and myself started because we were consuming lots of sugar, not lots of wine, lots of sugar. So I am drinking wine tonight and don't judge me because I brought the whole damn bottle with me and it's a Pinot Grigio. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to use our little bestie wine glass and... Without doing like the new YouTuber thing that I pretty much do on every single live, let me know, give me some feedback on what my audio sounds like. I did a little bit of troubleshooting before the live with my friend Kelly on here, so definitely let me know, let me know. Yes, essential oils. And Eileen's right. My sister's saying it smells like Christmas tree with the Siberian fur, but then you throw in that little lavender spin to it and it's just like, oh, so, so good. We deserve it, damn it. We deserve it after this week. Anyway, all right, thank you, Amanda. So Amanda's saying that it sounds really good, so thank you. I have, I mean, you guys know, like I'm just trying and troubleshooting and doing everything I can, so shout out to Keep Beauty Real because she gave me the heads up on the correct adapter for my mic, and then we did a little troubleshooting, and I just like, hey, just like children, just like children, it takes a village. So without further blabbering, let me just show you what I got going on tonight. Um, I just love that we can do these because as I shared towards the end of the year, hi, Night Star Beauty. Um, what I aim to do with my channel is I want to have something educational during the week, like on Wednesday nights. I had to go live this week because I didn't have stuff prepared and it just got so crazy. But then Friday nights are my makeup and chill nights. If we are in the next week or two going to start our creator spotlight. And then Sundays, I'll have another video. Um, this Sunday special because it's my 1,000 subscriber celebration live. So all of my friends are getting ready with their camera and everything. And we're just going to have a good time. My sisters, we're going to have door prizes, raffle prizes. We got all kinds of shit going on, guys. We have to celebrate. I mean... It's Sunday. We're alive. We're healthy. Like, let's celebrate, right? So that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to see the chat, if that's okay. I just want to see the chat. Bat to the Brow has me wanting that rainbow palette. I know. I started to watch that video. If you guys haven't checked out Bat to the Brow, she's like an indie queen. Like, she has um, the series called Multichrome Mondays. And she just, like, she knows all things indie. And I really love it. I love it. Um, yes. Yes, Betsy. We ordered Melt. Melt Cosmetics released their um, 
blueprint palette, you know, so it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I was not going to have FOMO when it came to melt, especially with um, the positive experience I had with the Beetlejuice collection. So I'm so excited about that. And then, and then I got like the palette and the two gel liners because I have one gel liner and it's so, so good. So I'm, I wasn't going to skip out. Like it's just stupid at this point. Yes, we love it, Lisa. We love it. Then um, I also did order Mama Pat's little lipstick duo. I mean, cause like it looked really pretty and I didn't have that lip liner color. Um, so yeah, you know, Hey Willard, how's it going friend? All right. So cheers guys. Cheers to a crazy week. We made it. We're alive. We're healthy. That's all we can ask for. Cheers. All right. Ooh, that's very good. We love it. It's kind of crisp. Kind of citrusy or maybe melon. You guys, hashtag not sponsored, like duh. Of course I'm not sponsored, but that's really good. All right, let's get started. So, hi, Teresa. Oh, Teresa, she's my very, very special friend um, at work. She's a colleague. She has supported me so much this week, you guys. It's been a week, but it's all right. It's all right. All right, so let's get started. I wanted to use this opportunity and that's why I um, put that picture in my thumbnail of the Gucci primer and foundation. The reason I did that was because I came on and I did my first impressions. That live was kind of a mess. It was around Christmas time. And then um, I didn't come back with a full review, but I've used it for three weeks now. I have very, very solidified thoughts on the primer and the foundation. And I think it's important to bring you know, updates on that foundation because there was a lot of people that liked it and then there was a lot of people that it didn't work for. And what really threw me off is that there were people with my same skin type that it absolutely didn't work for them. So I wanted to talk about that today and use that as my new foundation that I'll be using because technically, like, who are we kidding? It is new, like not in the world of YouTube, but it is new. And people might be looking for those um, really solid thoughts on the Gucci foundation. So that's why I wanted to use it. Um, so we've got that for new foundation. I've got some new e.l.f. putty blushes that I'm excited about. I've got um, a new concealer pot. It's not really new to like new in makeup, but it's new to me. And I bought it on sale when Sephora had the 20% off sale sale. So I got that. Hello, bad to the brow. Your ears must have been ringing, girl. Cause we were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. Um, I was telling people how you're kind of an indie queen, multi-chrome Mondays, yada, yada, yada. You guys got to go check her out for real. Um, so welcome. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, we literally were just talking about you. That's so cool. That's so cool the way that worked. Um, let me see. Beauty and the Frizz, they're so cute. Hmm. Yeah, the multi-chrome queen is here. That's right. Let me see. Okay, so we're talking about blueprint. Cool. <laughs> She's blushing. She's so cute. Um, hello, it's not a phase mom. How are you? And then I was going to, I'm still going to use the Glam Light Cookies and Milk Highlighter because that is a new highlighter to me, so we have a little bit of indie. And then I also got such a fancy little compact in the mail. Isn't this adorable, you guys? For a full and thorough review, I really do want you guys to go check out Keep Beauty Real. She did a full review on this, which is what prompted me to want to try. Then Amerch Beauty is like, girl, they have a 30% off discount. And I was like, okay, fine. I want to try it anyway, so let's just do it. So, um, so we did. So this is a cream quad set, and it has a cream highlighter, blush, and then contour and bronzer. So I didn't have a new bronzer, so that works out lovely. And again, not new, but new to me. I told you guys in my palettes that I bought in 2020 that I had picked up these two Viseart palettes. So we're going to use these mattes, possibly Davina mattes, because what I really want to use is I want to use, sorry, I'm looking around for it. I want to use my Terra Moons. I'll swatch those for you, and then we'll figure out a look at the end. Um... You know, it's just it's just what it what it is. It's makeup and chill. Let's just have a good time. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what? Okay, look, I know it was a crazy week, all right? I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go in with my primer. What was 
your week like? Um, aside from everything that was going on, what was your week like? Like, let me know what you guys were up to. Can I tell you guys something super, super funny? Oh my gosh, I was laughing. Yeah, I know, bad to the brow. You're happy about that, huh? Yeah, we're trying out some Terra Moons, and I've swatched them once, but I um, haven't actually done a look with them, so it should be fun. Um, tell me how your week was. I'd love to know how your week was. Um, I think, you know, we started off this week, and like Beauty and the Frizz, she's not just a teacher of children, she's a teacher of us all, but we started this week with like really focusing on positivity and making sure that the words that come out of our mouth are not always negative or focus on what we don't have versus what we have. I mean, this is very important, right? So we started off the week positive and I think I really tried for the most part to stay there. It's just that I, I, I have to sometimes like air out what my grievances are and then I'm just really lucky. Like we have people like Beauty and the Frizz, my sister Eileen, my sister Denise, we have Dr. Ash. Um, actually everybody on here, Teresa, like they, they hear me out and then they kind of just spin it like, well, we could do this or like, well, we could do that. Like, let's focus on the positive. So I know that there was good things that happened. Look at, here we go. Here we go. So it's not a phase. Mom says I had an interview yesterday. So that's amazing. See, that's really good stuff. I hope it went well. I'm sure it did. You are very charismatic. So I'm sure Amanda says that her son had a basketball game today and they won. That's super cool. Dr. Ash was productive. Dane, Amanda even got her menagerie order in for Black Friday. That's a really good thing. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm hmm. I love it. I love it. See, so there and we're here. My son turned 11 years old. If you guys don't know about my son, he almost didn't make it in life. You know, he was born with a liver disorder and he um, had to have a transplant when he was four and a half. And he almost died a couple times, you know, just a couple times. So he turned 11 yesterday. And so like, that's a good thing. Even with how crazy things are, it's still a good thing, you know? Um, ooh, it, Night Star Beauty in New Zealand is saying that it's really hot there, but that she loves summer. So that's a good thing. It's been really gloomy and dark here, but that's not a bad thing either, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to focus on that. I also want to say how proud I am because... Um, lately I've noticed that like every time I upload a video, like you guys, like every time I upload a video and either set it up for like a live or a premiere, um, like within seconds, I I'm kind of, I don't even know if I should say it, but it's just hilarious to me. But like within seconds, hello, Jamila, um, I get a thumbs down and I'm like, <laughs> you know, it kind of tickles me to be honest. And then this time I didn't have a thumbs down and I'm like, what the heck? Where is she or he? Like, where's my thumbs down? My thumbs down's there. It's there. So I want to say thank you for the engagement. We love you here at Yachty Beauty's Corner. Thanks. So, you know, either way, engagement is engagement. We love it. We appreciate it, honey. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Best thing this week was Erin turning 11. I know. Denise is my sister. Um, I would say like... Man, when I tell you I went through it, my sisters went through it with me. It was such a crazy time in our lives. Um, but, you know, we made it. We're here, bitches. You try to keep us down, but you couldn't. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> Night Star Beauty, can we come live with you? It's a little rough here in the States right now. I know. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, that's so nuts. You guys, check this out. So we have a Jamila in the group and bad to the brows like, my name's Jamila. That's hilarious. What a coincidence. Do people have a nickname for you, Jamila? Since um, Jamila goes by Millie, who's bad to the brow, what do people call you for short or do they just call you Jamila? I mean, because we're friends now, so we can we can call you by your nickname if you don't mind. Oh, she goes by Jammy. How cute. I love it. Okay. I want to quickly just mention what you see here. And maybe I should bring you in a little bit, but I think it looks pretty clear on my camera. But, I mean, this foundation, if you guys see how I applied it, I went in with my fingers, and then I just kind of worked it in. It looks just like skin you guys it's really really beautiful I have 
uh, oily combination skin, but during the winter, it is very normal around the perimeter, but my T-zone still gets pretty oily. So that's the kind of skin that I have for reference, but it looks freaking beautiful. It's long lasting, it's transfer resistant. I can give you full thoughts on this because I've worn it for about three weeks now. I love it. And actually, um, I think I agree. Like I wouldn't recommend it to somebody with dry skin, but like I even have to powder my T-zone even during the, the winter. So, you know, I love it. Um, I, it was important for me to like give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. I think it's beautiful. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit closer so you guys can see what that's doing on my skin. But I mean, it looks pretty damn good, guys. It looks pretty damn good. So, you know, final thoughts, I guess, like I have, sorry, I have confirmed that it is transfer resistant. It looks natural and beautiful on my skin. Um, I only use one pump and it was even enough for my neck. So I'm not sitting there like packing on the product, um, you know, too thick or anything. I don't lay it on thick or anything, <laughs> but on me, I really do like it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Let me just take a sip here. Bye, Kelly. Thanks for stopping by. I know that you had to get off, but it's fine. Oh, look at Jamie. She's saying that she started, I started her channel in December and after watching your first lunch bunch where you said to just go for it, it was all the motivation I needed. This group of ladies here. Oh, that's so good, Jamie. I didn't know you had a channel, but thank you for sharing with us. I love it. Yeah, yeah, Amanda. I think it looks good. Um, You know who just had a really thorough review on this foundation this week as well was Betsy Gocher. Um, so definitely go check out her video. I think I'm going to... I'm going to list her Gucci foundation video because I thought it was really well done. And then I'm going to list Keep Beauty Reels um, Salt New York review because I thought that was very well done. So I'll do that after the live so you guys can have like some reference. But yeah, Molly, so far the best experience I've had is the new Vivid Rose. Cool. So we're talking about that. Yes, Jamie, please drop um, your channel name so we can all go check you out. Like, obviously, we want to do that. All right, the new concealer that I have is um, by Too Faced, and it's their Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer, Instant Coverage Matte Concealer. This is what the box looks like. Again, it's not a new product, but it's new to me. And I kind of like pot concealer sometimes just um, like to carve out my brows, like things like that. So I really did want to try it. You want to get the new Natasha Denona eye primer? I saw that. Oh, Aileen, I just got it today actually. So that's what this looks like. The shade is Bisque. Oh my God, do you love my nails? This is all inspired by Beauty and the Frizz, by the way, with the Pantone colors. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I've tried it once and I do like it actually. I just tried it yesterday, but I'm just going to warm it up with my finger. I find that there are times, especially when it's a little bit colder out, where I don't want heavy product on my face anywhere, but you know, like under the eye. This is just like a little bit lighter. Um, I can just work it in after I warm it up with my finger. I just very lightly tap and I thought I used it last night for dinner which I posted those pictures on Instagram and I thought that it looked really natural and beautiful. Um, and although it's matte, it didn't make it make my under eye look aged or anything. Um, so yeah, my skin type jammy is, um, combination oily, but right now that it's winter, I'm normal around the perimeters of my face and I'm still a little bit oily in my T zone. Not as bad as during the summer, but we're not frying eggs during the winter or anything, but I'm still oily in the T-zone. So, so you know, I tapped the pot twice and then I had enough to go everywhere, but it looks really natural. I have some creases on my eye that I'll take care of in a little bit, but it looks good. It doesn't look like any worse than, you know, other, other concealer would. I'm definitely not letting go of my Dior. Like that is just, you know, my holy grail, but... Sometimes you just want something a little easy and light, you know, you're not doing like full glam or whatnot. And I thought that this was a good one to try. 
I will say that it is fragranced, so definitely keep that in mind. As most of the products in their Peach Perfect like collection, it smells like peach. So yeah. Um, let me see. Rupee is Dobby. Natural look always looks good. Yeah. Hi, Karina. Karina's my sister too, guys. I love, I love how supportive my sisters are. Like, and it's not that they're at every video or every live. I mean, for the most part, they are. But just the support they give me off camera, I think is, I'm a lucky girl. All right. So we do love it. Again, this is in the shade Bisque. It did provide a little bit of, you know, highlighting and illumination. I'm not going to go too crazy like anywhere else, but maybe just a tad here. I really don't have anything to cover up. Um, when I do concealer like here, it's just for highlighting purposes, nothing else. Um, thanks, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, we have the we have the best. Oh, thanks, Beauty in the Frizz. It was all you, girl. It was all you. We love it. Oh, Steven says hi. He's having dinner with his boyfriend. Okay, that's so that's so cool though. I'm glad he's spending time with his boyfriend because I know it's been crazy for him this week too. Um, okay, so we did foundation, we did um, our concealer. I'm not gonna go in with powder just yet, but let's dip into this Salt New York palette. I think it's cute. I went for like a peachy blush. Um, Aileen, did you use, did you get the same blush? I think this is the corally one. I think it looks really pretty. I love it. Let me grab a brush here. I think I'm going to go with my Sonia G, my little, this is the mini base. This is from her Kayaki collection. I think it will be very nice in these little pots. So yeah. Tell him we said hi. Yeah, um, Jamie's saying that she heard that the Too Faced peach line was probably being discontinued. And I think that that is true, actually. It's been on sale forever, like at Sephora. So I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah. All right. So let's start. Let me just get a good swatch of these so that we know which one to apply. I'll start with the high highlighter blush and then we'll go down. Gosh, damn. We'll go to the contour and then the bronzer. Okay. So let's see what they swatch like. They're very creamy. I do love it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's like the champagne -y gold highlighter. That's gorgeous. Ooh, that's so pretty. Let's do the, they're very emollient. So I know if any time is the time to try it, it will be now just because um, during the summer, it might be too much. They're very emollient. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Guys, check it out. That's really nice. Wow. Yes, Rupee Pantone Nails. When um, Kara told us about what that was, I think it was you and Kara possibly. Um, I had to get my nails done anyway and I didn't know what colors to get. So, you know, we just went for it. Um, all right. Now I'm going to go into like this cool toned brown and then I'll go into the bronzer. Again, that, that, um, the blush that I just swatched for you guys, that's like, a, it's like a lip and cheek lip and cheek chic cheek lip and cheek color so um it's gonna be a little bit more emollient and i do feel that it's more emollient than the highlighter and the contour that i just swatched look at how beautiful that contour is though i love it yeah i love it that's really nice and then the bronzer is the last one Ooh, this one's pretty too Oh my gosh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. They're very emollient, but not too much at all in my experience. They dried down a bit. Okay, good, Molly. Yeah, this is my first experience with Salt New York. Um, did you get the eye primer for from Salt New York? No, um, no, I didn't get it. So Amy Loves Makeup likes that a lot. I'll have to try it. I've never... To be honest, I've never purchased anything from Salt New York. This is my very first time trying them. So yeah. Thank you, Ava, born and raised in Trinidad. Oh, nice. You guys are talking about counting your palettes. It was shameful. 
Bro, I mean, I started buying my first pellet I bought at the end of April or the end of May. I can't remember. And from that point until December 31st, I think I was like at 92 pellets. It was stupid. I'm not doing that anymore. Hi, Natanya. My niece is on here. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, it was not cool. But anyway, so that's where we're at right now. We love it. Um, I think I'm going to just go for it how I would my regular makeup. So I'm going to start with my my cool tone contour shade here. I probably will use the same little brush for both my contour and my bronzer. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So I refuse to count my palettes. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I beat Dr. Ash. It was kind of crazy. I never in a million years, I knew I had a lot, but I was thinking like at best it would be about 60, you know, about 60 pellets. No, but it was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. So I don't know if you guys can see it there. It is cool toned. I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation there, so sometimes it causes a little bit of shadowing here, but it it's a pretty color might be a little too light if I'm being honest but let's just let's just check let's just check so what are you guys drinking tonight I'm just wondering not suggesting everybody's a drinker but just wondering what you guys sipping on what you snacking on <laughs> beauty in the frizz I have a palate problem Girl, you got a makeup problem. <laughs> but yeah, eyeshadows are her jam. I like it. You got 35. Who's got 35? A merch or is Willard guessing how many A merch has? Hi, Locke. How are you? She's driving to work. Drive carefully. Yeah, we all went a little crazy. You know what? Dr. Ash said it best. 60 not counting my pre-orders hey unless they're in your possession they technically don't count because right now Kara's palettes are lost so Aileen has 35 palettes yeah um Jemmy yeah a bunch of us are waiting um on on Black Friday stuff still Ooh, Denise you're having a Lagunitas if you guys don't know that beer Lagunitas is an IPA oh my gosh so good 35 in 2020 not total yeah yeah anyway that's what i was gonna say i'm like dr ash said it best 2020 was on sale okay let's just forget that happened let's learn but let's just move on it's fine it's totally fine and um yeah all right i'm thinking that this is a little too light for me if i'm being honest it's a little too light for me i went in as much as i can um so i built it up there now I'm going to take my wet sponge. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge, by the way. I had seen my friend Al Feisty use it and I want to try it and it's really cool. So I'm taking the pointy part of my sponge just lightly and I'm just bronzing it up around the perimeter of my face. Okay, that looks pretty. I like that. The other was just a little too light. I built it up quite a bit and it just was too light. So... It's pretty, but it's a little too light. Yeah, it's a little too light. Um, the contour shade, Aileen. I don't think you got that one. I think you just got the bronzer, so you'll be fine. But I had gotten the contour shade. Remember I told you? And you're like, eh, hey, that's too ashy. But yeah, it's too light for me. It's okay. The compact is pretty, though. It's like a leather compact. I, have, I actually don't even feel like window shopping anymore. It's pretty easy, to be honest. <gasps> oh, my gosh. If you guys don't know, Rupi, um, she had like a beauty budget video that I thought was very, very well done. It was impactful for me, like just made me think about what my strategy is for 2021. Um, and then she broke down like to like a monthly like budget situation and hers is a little bit, 
I can't remember if it was 125 or 150. And I thought, you know what? 150, she's 150 Canadian. I'm 150 US. And I was like, that actually kind of makes sense. Like I could be okay with 150. Um, that being said, I'm a little over budget, <laughs> but I'm not going to buy anymore. So I'm good. I'm good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, 175 Canadian. Okay. I, so it's like 150 us maybe i should up mine to 175 but even then so i kind of ruined it for january but it's fine I, at least i'm being a little more cognizant of it because there were weeks guys like i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys because it 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 helps no one to lie about it but there was weeks when i would just drop like boom 1200 bucks on shantikai or whatever the hell i was in that into that week and on to the next week and like that's so not cool like for me I'm not judging anybody else that does it, but I have plans. Like I have financial plans and starting a channel kind of made me lose my mind a little bit. So I love that I have friends like, you know, A Merch did a 60 day no buy. Rupee's doing her beauty budget this year. Just friends that kind of keep me in that mindset where I want to be more careful and just be aware, you know, don't black out every time I'm checking out of a cart, you know, but yeah. Hey, um, Ava, I saw Ava somewhere here. Amber, hi, Amber, how are you? <laughs> she was playing Animal Crossing, that's hilarious. Oh, let me see. I'm limiting mine to one palette a week. Hey, that's a start. And that's what I was thinking, like we talked about this in my live on Wednesday and I was like, I think it was Amanda's idea actually. I do like the bronzer guys. So it's light, It's but it's very, very pretty. I'm going to use my fingers for the highlight portion. Um, I think Amanda was saying like, well, why don't you like, you know, allow yourself if there's a release that's interesting you to one palette um, from the drugstore, one palette from like an indie um, brand, and then one palette from like, you know, mid range to luxury if you're into it. I thought that was a great idea. I, I really did. Because then you don't feel like you're being restricted in any way, but it's your choice. If you don't see anything that calls you, then don't get it, you know? Let me see. Buy Terry is having a sale, so I have some stuff coming. Haven't tried it before. Yeah, I've only tried the Buy Terry powders that I really love. So. <laughs> you need to open a bottle of wine? I mean, I think you deserve it. <laughs> I'm going into my little nosies now, you know, just put a little highlight action in there. Why not? I'm really loving this highlighter, guys. I think it's really pretty. What do we think? It's very subtle, but it's just pretty. Makes you look dewy. I love it. Oh, Dose of Colors. Yeah, I like Dose of Colors a lot. I have one palette and then I have... um. The lipsticks, I have like two liquid matte lipsticks, but yeah, Amanda was saying the foundation's really good. The liquid lipsticks are nice, Rupee. That's the ones that I have. Um, the blushes are the star product in my opinion. Oh yeah, who grabbed the Trend Mood box? Who who um who grabbed that today? Um, was it today or yesterday? I think it was yesterday for $32. You got like a box full of good molecule skincare and I, I've been wanting to try their skincare. Um, so I, I actually grabbed it. Um, it didn't have the eye patches, which the gel patches, which I wasn't a fan of anyway, but, um, it had like the niacinamide. It, I think it has the hyaluronic acid in it. And so, yeah, I, um, I bought that, um, Kara actually reminded me. What's up, Vicky J? How's it going? I did so. <laughs> you set an alarm for it. You skipped. Yeah, I just I've been I've been curious about Good Molecule skincare, so that's why I thought that it would be a good idea to do that. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, the exfoliating powder, I think. Like, there's just a few things that I've been wanting to try. So I was just thinking that today. I was looking at new face. Yeah. So, okay. And then, um, because the blush was a little too emollient, I think I'm going to go in with my sponge as well and then just kind of build it up that way. Let's see what we get. Um, but it really is a pretty color. So 
Look, that's so cute. Ooh. My face looks so healthy. Like here in person, it looks really smooth. I have my pores, but you know, that's always a problem. Um, but I'm trying to look at them as not a problem, you know? Sounds ridiculous, but we're part of like the corny crew with Karen, Karen and them. So when you see the pores and you're like, those pores, you can really see the pores. Instead, what we have to say is, you know what? I'm really grateful that these pores are really popping through because it's really allowing my skin to breathe. It makes it so that I keep my skin looking healthy and, um, you know, larger pores means oilier skin. Oilier skin means that you look younger, longer. I mean, come on, come on. That is beautiful, guys. Check it out. That's really, really pretty. I do love it. Overall, the complexion's looking really good. That's my favorite sponge ever. Yeah, Amber, um, I have always seen my friend, um, Al Feisty, she has a luxury channel here. That's the name, Al Feisty. Um, she uses this a lot, and I, I was just curious, so I picked it up. All right, so complexion, I'm sure you, I see my monitor. It looks pretty good, guys. I really like how glowy and pretty it looks. Come on, oil. That's right, Vicky J. You're like, let's go. Let's get these pores moving. Let's produce some sebum <laughs> so we can look younger longer. I know it sounds silly, but I really do believe that Kara's um, philosophy on spending everything with, an, with a positive outlook really does help. So anyway, call me crazy, but you know, I love it. All right, speaking of by Terry, this is not new to me. You guys know that I've been loving these powders. I'm gonna go in with my by Terry in, sorry, apricot light under my eyes, um, just to set that powder. But if I'm being honest, I really don't feel like I need to set. It looks really, even under my eyes, it looks glowy. Even though the potted concealer said it was matte, it still looks very pretty. But just because I always do, I'll just set with like a little bit of my wet sponge. I'm kind of loving it, guys. I'm kind of loving it. Yeah, Vicky J's in Boston. She's in Boston. Which, my gosh, Boston in the fall is the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. Just gorgeous. All right. Let's see. Oh, Dr. Ash, I know you have dry skin, but you look freaking amazing. You have really great skin. So... Obviously, skincare is a big part of that too. So, I don't feel the need to powder the rest of my face, and I thought that I would with the Salt New York products. It's not completely dry, but it doesn't feel tacky to where it's gonna like rub off. So, I'm gonna leave it alone. I like it. Let me see. Papa Shop. You wanna go to Boston? Yeah, it's so pretty there. Yeah, all feisty. Yeah, she's in Boston as well. She's in Boston. New Hampshire in the fall. Ooh, I've never been there, Amerch. That's so cool. You know, I used to travel a lot for work, and I used to like it. Um, but then eventually it became like such a burden because it was happening all the time. And my kids and everything, you know. And I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of miss traveling for work a little bit. Like... I don't know. Um, I don't want to go back to traveling as much as I used to, but a little, a little travel, you know, didn't hurt anyone. I just like working with people like face to face. So, you know, you want to go to the Cheers bar? <laughs> yeah, Salt New York, Vicky J. Yeah, I, I was curious. There was a 30% off. And so I um, just kind of went for it. But I'm happy with what we did today. I think that's good. There's nothing new going on here. It's just boring brows. My Dior brow style pencil. I think it's my favorite. Aileen was saying that she really likes the Gucci pencils. So if anybody has tried it, anybody else, I'd love to know your thoughts because this one's almost out. 
and I actually have to go get one this weekend. So let me know what you guys think about the Gucci brow pencil. You miss travel. Yeah. I used to travel for work all the time, but we had to stop for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Your per diem checks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Look at Jamie. She's like, I just go in and stare at my work clothes. You know what? If I'm being totally um, just transparent, like I never really bought like expensive work clothes. I would kind of just buy like trendy work clothes that I didn't have to care for that much. So I could just buy clothes like every just a couple pieces every month. So like my favorite stores were always like Express or like New York and Company. Sometimes like for blazers and stuff, I would go to the outlets and go get like a, you know, go to White House Black Market or like um, Banana Republic or whatever. For the most part, though, I kind of just bought cheap work clothes um, and I would just get bored. So I'm like, I'm not going to spend like three, four or five hundred dollars on a suit and then be bored with it later. I know they're classic pieces, but I just never did that. I used to like to wear a lot of dresses and skirts too, so I would just buy cheap clothes. You have so many, you have so many suits. Yeah. Taiwan and Japan. Vow. Hello, Anne Marie. How are you, friend? Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, yeah, we were supposed to go to Jamaica last year and then we're like, okay, it's okay. And then things started to clear up because we didn't go. And then things started to clear up for like August, you know, when it got warm a little bit. And then we're like, let's just plan like a last minute trip to Mexico, like Cabo or, you know, um, Cancun, whatever. And then we were about to because we own like a resort membership. And so we were just going to go for it because the flights were so cheap. And then at the last minute, we were like, no, we can't be stupid. Like, let's just wait. And I kind of regret it because, I don't know. Like, we really enjoy travel. Like, that's where we like to spend our money, you know? I'm on a live. What do you need? I am, baby. I'm live. I promise you. You could see the little white spots on my camera. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's hearing you argue with your mother right now. No. Bro, I'm on a live. Oh my God. See, Say I'm hi. Look at, look at all these people are looking at you. Say hi. Hello. 11 year old that likes to argue with his mom. <laughs> Bye. Close, close the door. What do you need? Eileen, Aaron wants to know if he can spend the night at your house. <laughs> Cool. Close the door, please. please. I'll text you. I'll let you know. Bye. Please. Please, Mom. All right, guys. Let me just mute for a second because you're about to see me get a little... Thank you, Tia. Oh, everybody said happy birthday. He said thank you, Tia. Cause thank he can... you. Okay, she heard you. Bye. My gosh. Sorry, guys. I always try to check my kids. Like, don't be coming into my room when I'm going live, but we're all moms here, most of us. We understand, right? I hope that didn't bother you guys too much. He's 11 now, so, you know, he says he makes his own decisions now. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it's my sister's burden. <laughs> he's not a burden. He's a blessing, but it's it's her deal now. He's coming over, so... <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> My sister-in-law just texted me that she did a full face of Juvia's place. Ah, okay, well, I'm glad that you guys are okay with that. I'm sorry. I always tell them, you better not come in. I swear to you, you better not come in. But apparently he thought I was not serious. Um, all right, so we just did the most boring part. Um, I don't have a new eye primer, but now I'm very intrigued by the Salt New York. So I'm just going to go in with my NARS, the one that I always use. Um, thank you. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Um, 
yeah yeah he's um he's usually pretty good now let me just talk to you about real life actually since you guys just met goots so he's the one that had the um the liver transplant um because of that he was out of school a lot okay and a couple years ago i started telling him that you know sometimes kids can be mean but that kids are sometimes mean because they don't understand you know and to give them a chance so that when kids made mean comments about his appearance or like um like just i'm just gonna put it out there because it's my life like his teeth are really like stained because of the medications he was on when he was a little kid we have to fix those cosmetically once all of his real teeth grow in or he walked funny for a while because he actually had a deficiency of vitamins due to the liver not absorbing it so he would break his legs a lot he broke his legs seven times actually so he was in a cast pretty much the first five years of his life um so there was just like a lot of things that sometimes kids will say mean things and um what i told them i said instead of having your feelings hurt at school or whatever because he's a very friendly really nice kid what you need to do is just understand that most kids have never been through what you've been through but if you use that opportunity instead of getting hurt or offended to educate them and to just kind of share your story most kids after they know the truth won't be mean to you anymore they'll accept you for who you are and so we've just kind of been talking about that today what he realized is that he's 11 and that he's supposed to be in fifth grade and not fourth grade and i said hey um do you know why you're in fourth grade versus fifth grade and he's like not really and i said well it's because you were in the hospitals remember we've talked about it so um he was like oh you know he's like i kind of felt kind of dumb today mom because you know i was in a grade small and i was like that's okay but now you know so now you know you educate your friends and he's like they weren't being mean but like they were just like really like wondering why i was in fourth grade so um you know we kind of just deal with it i see that amanda that he has to wear um your daughter has to wear a helmet now like yeah all of these things are so hard i know that a merch beauty has gone through something similar where she understands what you know some of the things that i'm going through like it just it's real life you know like not everything is going to be perfect all the time and um i just kind of lean into it like i used to hate before his surgery he was very very um jaundiced because his liver doesn't work you know like his eyes were bloodshot yellow guys like you know when i go into his story more one day like i'll share pictures and stuff it was really really tough it was really really tough and um i kind of hate it when people would stare because i'm just like that's why i tell them when kids are staring or saying something use that opportunity to share why like don't let don't be a victim to it like we're not victims to it like nobody's gonna judge you amanda because of why you know what your daughter's situation is or why she wears a helmet or why not like nobody's gonna judge you aaron you know goots we call him goots but you have to educate people like don't educate somebody that is mean to you after you tell them what happened but if they don't know educate them you know and so um yeah i kind of like to confront that before people ask or before people wonder so like that's kind of where we're at but bye bye luck i hope you have a great night yeah you, okay so Anne marie is saying she has two boys with special needs it's not easy yeah isn't that crazy she's saying that it's not easy but that she wouldn't have it any other way and it's just like my sisters are on here like if you guys knew goots that's what we call him aaron if you guys knew him and his personality and who he is and stuff like he is so funny he brings so much joy to so many people he's very personable he's very outgoing and it's just like he's a blessing to us you know and it sounds crazy because we've been through hell and back with this kid and so as my sister denise actually she's in the chat as well um she had a daughter that was born very prematurely um a lot of medical stuff that she went through and it's like it's been the hardest thing in her life but like we would never change it they are just amazing people so let me see oh kara too that's right yeah anyway real life i say all that to say i apologize for him <laughs> like 
breaking into my beauty room. <laughs> I just think that finding your community, like finding your people kind of frees you up a little bit because starting a channel was, you know, I would scream at them like, shut up, shut up. I can't hear, you cannot hear kids in the background screaming. You can't do this. And then meeting Kara, it was like, it was so freeing to see like, cause I, I think a lot of people have kind of fallen in love with Kara's boys because, um, we see them all the time, you know? And I think that's so special and like, that's who we are. And, um, I don't really post a lot about my personal life on Instagram, but, um, but like, why though? You know what I mean? Like they are my life. Like, and um, somebody said something like, oh, your son looks like he's so proud of you. And I'm like, my son thinks I'm so cool for being on YouTube, you know? <laughs> so it's just, it's cool. I don't know. I, I, it's freeing to be around people that I feel like I can be myself with, you know? So I love it. I'm using my, sorry, I'm using my Milk and Cookies highlighter from the Glam Light Cookie Box collection that we got during the winter. What did Vicky J say? Everybody agrees with her. I'm so glad we have each other to lean on and get it. Yeah, because, you know, whether you are in a situation like this or not, like motherhood is hard. We have a doctor in the chat. That's hard. You know, that deals with so many sick people. We have moms with kids with special needs. We have moms with just very healthy kids. Everything's hard, you know, and so it's just we can come here and just kind of be who we are and just... Yeah, it's special. Hashtag cheesy crew. Let's go. Activate. <laughs> it's who we are. All right. So I went in with a little bit more glam light. As you can see, the glam light highlighter is very popping. So that's what where we're at. Um, yeah, as long as August has clothes on, Kara says. August, her son, her five-year-old, he's just adorable. He loves me. He says he prays for me and Dr. Ash every day, and I believe him. Um, but he doesn't like to wear clothes. <laughs> so now that's his thing with mom. Mom, can I come on camera? I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. We love it here. Oh, Molly, I didn't know that about you. Oh, she says, I used to teach special needs and I believe moms and parents of these loves are the most special, amazing people and chosen for these kids. It's hard, but uh, very worth it. Very, very worth it. So, yeah. Anyway, hashtag cheesy crew is over. All right. So, um, I know. I love that. I love that we know that about Molly now. Do you see what I'm saying? We're building some real connections here, people. Um, let me grab my Terra Moons real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have too much, but I'm building my collection and I wanted to just quickly swatch it for you. And I think I told you guys that like my mat, one of my mats, which was like this little nude mat. Um, there we go. It kind of came crushed. It is what it is. Yeah. Hey. Wow, Aileen, that's such a great point. So um, it was almost supernatural because I kind of have a like crazy temper sometimes, or I had. But after my son's transplant, that's what changed in me. Like um, you just like very quickly, like boom, in your face, you realize like this is not worth it. Like there's things that are worth it in life. This is not worth it. And so it was almost like supernatural. Like that changed in me overnight. Like I would get into like arguments with mostly my spouse, let's be honest. And, um, could stay mad for a week. Like what a waste of your life. Like, are you serious? And then after the transplant, it was just like, no, nothing will ever top this. Nothing will ever be that bad that you have to stay mad at someone for a week. That's just insanity. So yeah. Hey, Kendra, you walked in on our therapy session. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Willard's so, so right. She says, Molly O'Hara, you're the real Wonder Woman. Um, I believe that about all educators, actually. I just think that they do so much for our kids and 
It's just so special. Yadi Agasayu and said, Yadi, I love you so much. He's doing the most and better not make me an early grandmother. <laughs> I love August so much too. Tell him I said I love you. I pray for you. All right, let me just show you what I got for Terra Moons. These are beautiful. I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now. It's a colorful look. Get ready. So I'm going to just quickly swatch them and then we can kind of decide what we're doing. Um, I'm not going to like get into like getting the shade names unless you guys want a specific one just because um, I don't want to dig my nails in them. All right, so what I can tell you about Terra Moon's mattes so far, they're very powdery. Um, they crush like at the drop of a hat. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because, you know, I know it has to do with the form. I mean, look at this. I swatched it, and do you see there in between my fingers how it's already started to crack off? Yeah. They're very, very powdery. Um, so I don't know if I would say that they're my favorite from um, indie brands so far. The mats that I've tried are from, from indie brands have been um, Terra Moons, Sydney Grace. I have tried um, Davina Cosmetics. Um, I do consider Glam Light Indie, so Glam Light Indie uh, or Glam Light mattes are okay. My favorite mattes so far are Davina Cosmetics, and I think I talked about that when um, when I did my Coven's Curse video. But let's just get to swatching. Enough with the chit chat. Let's get to swatching. So that's pretty. I mean, it's pretty. It looks very smooth. It's more about the, how powdery and the fallout and everything. Those are very bright. Um, there's that. Look at how beautiful. The shimmers, I will say, are pretty phenomenal, guys. Not going to lie. They're pretty bomb. Um, all right. So that's what we have so far. You should try some of the menagerie mats. Ooh, maybe I want to do that. Ooh, look at Kendra, bro. Okay, she she's very knowledgeable with singles as well, and she's saying, I was just going to be real honest, I can't get down with Terra Moons, and they won't stay on my oily lids. Wow, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know, Kendra. Yeah, the shimmers are, st are stunning. Hi, Lena, how are you? I purchased four Terra Moons to try the formula, yeah. They're, they're pigmented. They're pigmented, um, Aileen. They really are. But that's what we got. And then um, let me show you what I'm doing here. This one I'm excited about because I don't really have shades that look like this yet. Look at that orange. Bro, I have to do my orange sherbet on my glam light, but look at That's beautiful. It's like mermaid kind of color with a blue shift, red and blue shift. That's gorgeous. Hardly anything left on my fingers. So I kind of like when shadows do that because it's like they pack down really nicely and that's really pretty. They are very pigmented, but they just won't stay on the lids. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Give me glow is scratchy. Yeah, they're scratchy, scratchy mats. All right, let's go down the way to my heart, which is with these green shades here. I have four of them. So let me just swatch for you. Oh my God. I'm just gonna go like this so that I can see what I'm doing. Holy shabam, guys. Look at, those are the four shades I just swatched. That's pretty freaking gorgeous. Look at that one too. That's like a green brown flip. Wow, this looks like the colors of the rainbow right here. That's really pretty. Scratchy mats. Yeah, the, the shadows are really gorgeous. So I had four green ones. Now I'm going into the two blue that I had. Um, these were from Black Friday, and I did get them a couple weeks, like a week before Christmas, but I just haven't played with them. Look at that one. That one's gorgeous. Woo! Oh my gosh. Can we do something with that pretty, please? I'm gonna let you guys choose, but that one is stunning. Look at that. 
Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, and then I have three purples left. Wow. Dude, I hope you guys like these swatches because this is a good way to end our week, you guys. And I'm happy that you guys are hanging out with me. Like, this is really what I needed. I mean, Teresa, she's quiet, but I know she's here. She knows what kind of an ending to my Friday I had. Check it out. That is amazing. Wow. Ooh, this one has a really pretty blue shift to it. And then just to give you guys a second look at what I was swatching so that you guys can see. That's what I was swatching, okay? Really beautiful. And then what we got is this right here. Yeah, that looks really good. Red Giant. Okay, I'll look into that. That is so pretty. It, the blue, yeah. I think that would go, it would go good with my shirt too. So if we're going to do purple, if that's okay with everyone, we'll do purple. Um, I definitely want to tap into this one a little bit and maybe, I really like this one. And I think it would complement the, um, the blue in there too. Yeah, I want to focus, I want to focus on, um, on indie as well. Mm -hmm. Blue and purple mix. Oh my God, A-merch. I think you're right. All right. Since we're going to do that, let's go ahead and go in with a really light, let's go in with a really light neutral base. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do grays because if I was going to do a gray base, I was going to go with Davina. But since we're going to do purple and gray, I think I'm going to stick to like this side over here and just do like a really pretty base and then go from there. I'm telling you, you guys, like it would be so cool. I always tell Kara this, but I'm like, how cool would it be if like we were all in the same living room and then you guys are sitting here like helping me swatch my life away. <laughs> that would be so cool, but they're trying to keep us apart. Just kidding, but you know what I mean. I would love if we were all in the same room right now, just hanging out. All right, I'm gonna go in with the, I'm gonna go in with this one here and just kind of do a little light base. Ooh, pigmented. So I think I've shared this before, but for whoever's new watching, I don't set my lids with like, you know, a matte powder or anything before I start my eye look. I just go in with color. It was a little bit of a learning curve, but I feel that colors just pop more and I like that. Let me go ahead and bring you guys in a little closer. There we go. That's pretty. Yadi, I can't even wait till COVID's over. We both live in the Midwest. Oh, where? Yeah, I would totally meet with you, Kendra. I know like, um, who else is here close to me? I feel like there's Michi Makeup that's close to me. She's like in this area. Betsy Gocher, she is in Texas. We could meet. Kay Bella Beauty, we could totally meet. Like, yeah. But either way, we, sh we could have like a makeup convention and then like, you know, do it at my house the first year, BYOB <laughs> or BYOW. And then after that, expand. Why not? Like Dr. Ash and Amerch and Kara, like we fantasize about like, where are we going to go on vacation together after this is over? Like, where can we go, guys? Let's just go hang out and yeah, that would be amazing. Molly, I think Molly's in the central zone too, so she could meet us. I think Heat Beauty Real is in the central zone. Stephen Ford, he is in Chicago, I think. So is Dr. Ash. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. It needs to happen. All right, so Busy Art for the win. What's going on, Busy Art? We love it. Look at how pretty that was. Kansas. You know, um, 
Yeah, I'm in Dallas, but when I start traveling for work again, I'll be in Kansas City, Missouri quite a bit. I'll be in Chicago. Um, yeah. Real house of real housewives of makeup. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. I know that Willard and Amerch have met up. Aww. We would have the best night ever, you guys. I mean, weekend. We'd have to have a weekend for sure. Look it. I'm jealous of, of Willard and Amerch. I think they're pretty close by. Sleepover makeovers. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Look at Willard. That's cute. Yeah. I mean, because it's weird if grown-ass women, like, spend the night, like, sleepover together. You know, like, why do we all want to sleep over together? But it's not weird. It's not weird if we throw makeup into it. That's when it's not weird. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm from Cali. Yeah, where's Ava from? Oh, yeah. Um, Ava, I just moved from, um, from the L.A. area to Dallas. And, yeah, born and raised in California. My sister Dee in the chat, she's in Cali as well. Um, but we are definitely planning to come for the summer. So, yeah, let's just meet up. Like, why not? I would love it. Hello, Kendall. How are you, doll? Oh, we have Alabama in the house. We got all kinds of places. Oh, oh, look at a merch. Kendall and um, I think just Kendall's just joined us. Um, just so you know, we're talking about sleepovers and makeovers. <laughs> Nicole. Hi, Nicole. How are you? She's in Florida. Awesome. We want to figure it out, girls, how we get in together, because after COVID, I feel like we all deserve it. And so we should just get together, have a major, major sleepover, and then B-Y-O-W, so bring your own wine, um, and B-Y-O-M, bring your own makeup, B-Y-O-B, bring your own brushes, and we're just going to have a party. <laughs> party bus, yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at look at Inara. Inara's like, I'm not a fan of traveling, but I travel for anything makeup related. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. South Carolina dress. That would be so much fun. Anyway, isn't it nice to dream? I mean it, it we're dreaming for now. It will it'll happen. All right, let's go ahead and Start putting in our color here. So I really wanted to use like this one and this one. And A Merch Beauty said that I could. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Wine, clutch pearls. Y'all know I like shots. Um, girl, I'll take shots with you. <laughs> I won't last very long. <laughs> but I'll take shots with you. Ooh. Philadelphia. I'm a Wharton grad, Jammy. So we love Philly. Um, Anne, I bet we're on the same county. Where's Anne? I used to go to Pensacola. Oh my God, this is so much fun. I love learning about you guys. Because I feel like I'm always the one talking, but I like, I love learning about you guys too. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go into, um, what am I doing? Where am I going? I'm going to go into this one on the lid and this one on the outer corner. So let's just do it. Let's do it. I'm going in with this brush. This is like a concealer Sigma F70 brush, but I like it to like pack the color on. So I'm just going to do it. Let's do it. Um, I'm in Crestview. Got to get that warm worm. A couple, you're a couple days older than me. Oh, how do you, how do you drink? I barely can finish a case of truly in a month. I'm too old to drink anymore. <laughs> freaking willard that's why i like willard she's saying screw shots just drink it straight out of the bottle girl <laughs> pay merch she's like i promise i'm not an alcoholic i mean neither are we we just drink every day <laughs> except lately we don't because we started a challenge but you know you guys check this out oh my god do you see how foiled that is like my lids are wrinkly a little bit but that's just me but like do you guys see that it's like butter 
<laughs> oh shit. Okay, look, Aileen, uh, Kara says, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. I, I love tequila, but it gives me weird dreams. <laughs> Like last time I was dating Bobby Brown and we went to the Anita Baker concert. <laughs> Kendall, Kendall will be fun when we get our hands on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The colors, wow. Tamara's like, she's keeping me focused. All right. This color is Val. All right. Um, I want to show you the shift. There's like a little bit of a... It's like a, it's like a turquoise and light baby blue shift. I mean, it's just gorgeous, guys. Um, and it went on like butter. There's absolutely zero, zero fallout. Like zero. There's no fallout. So I wish I could drink every night after the first beverage. I get so dehydrated and just want water. <laughs> I can drink. <laughs> She's like, girl, don't make Whitney come for you. <laughs> okay, since we are using this shade, I'll pick it up. I just don't like to dig my nails in it. But the Terra Moon shade, it's Orion's belt. I think somebody mentioned it earlier. So yeah, you were right. It's Orion's belt and it is just perfection. Um, on the first lid, I got zero fallout. And on this one, I'm getting zero fallout. So, wow, I like it. Guys, check it out. This is really pretty. <laughs> well, you know, because Kara's like, I'm looking at Bobby Brown, like, do I like him? But, you know, you just drink until he's cute. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> hilarious <laughs> give her some moonshine or ever clear oh shit <laughs> that would be funny yadira you said yadi you got to get some free and pixie oh pixie it's awesome for the lid i like it better than nyx glitter glue Ooh, okay but it's through pixie um i'll get that it's really really pretty <laughs> fucking Tara. I mean Kara. <laughs> All right, since we're sharing, it's been kind of dry here too. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are crazy and Amrich has the uh the moonshine in the fridge. Jess. All right, you guys are crazy. All right, the next one is Terra Moon's Moon Tide. That's the purple with the blue. Let me see. That's the purple with the blue shift. It just looks kind of purple here. But <laughs> hey, since you guys were sharing, I thought we were all sharing. <laughs> yeah, please DM me, Amanda. Please DM me. <laughs> Hey, Lisa, you'd have to fight me first, honey. Just so you know, he sings to me every morning and every night. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Fucking Lisa's crazy. You guys don't know. She looks all pretty and innocent in her picture, but she's crazy. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, uh, Kayaki brush. Kayaki brush. This is my little flat definer, but the little one. And I'm going to go in, just pack it into my outer corner. Yeah. Oh, Kendall, you want to join in on that fight, honey? Let's go. <laughs> August. August is jealous. He's like, uh-uh. Yachty says she loves me. I do love August, but, you know, not in that way. Holy shit, you guys. This color will totally get grant you VIP access to the Mermaid Club. Can you guys see that? Is it just, I hope you guys can see it because I wanted to do it justice. Hold on. Can you see it? Hi, Natalia.
It's like a purple blue shift. It complements that inner blue so beautifully. I need a darker purple. Okay, yes, ma'am. Let me just even out the other side. Shit. Aileen has a plan. All right. In person, though, Aileen, just so you know, it's like a really beautiful purple with like a blue shift. It looks good in person, but if you want darker, like, can you guys see that? It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. That is pretty. I'm late, so I don't know what we're playing with. We're playing with Terra Moons. We're playing with Terra Moons, Natalia. No worries. <laughs> Inara, you enjoying yourself, honey? <laughs> like, whoa, that went south real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to... Um, I feel like I'm not doing it justice. Like I want you guys to see how vibrant this purple is at the end. My freaking camera. Oh, look there. You can see. Do you guys see that? It, it is very vibrant. Like I can do a darker purple, Aileen, just so that you can, you know. Yeah, it's so pretty. If you put a dark matte purple with this over it. Okay. Let me, um. I don't have a, I don't have a matte purple with me, but I do have like this, um, I have this purple. So let's just kind of solidify and like wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Like wrap that up a little bit. I'll use my BK Beauty 207 and I'll just like use it to make it pop more. Look at Aileen. She's the one that doesn't use color. So we say. She's actually really good with color. She's done a couple colorful looks already. And they've come out bomb. She just has like the best lids. This one, ooh. The purple one that I just used did have a little bit of fallout. But there we go. Yeah, Aileen, you were right. That's good. I like it. I love it. Let's just pop a little bit more of the first one that we went over with. And wow. The first purple to glue them together. Yeah, that's what I just did right now. And they look amazing. Do you guys see that? Gold on the outer corner, inner corner or outer corner? Please um, tell me what you mean, cause I'll do it. Yeah, we sure did get her, Ash. Aileen was like such a neutrals girl when we met her and we're like, but I mean, just try it. I think you'd look beautiful. And she does. She looks freaking amazing with color. So, Outer sis, okay, let's do it. I didn't know what you meant, but I'm down. Hold on a second, let me see. Where do I have some gold? Let me think about this. Where did I just see gold? Oh, my um, Pat McGrath, hold on. I have so much going at all times that it's like, ugh. Yeah, she, it, it, color looks so good on A Merch Beauty, that one. I'm going to go with that gold because mother is always invited to our parties. Um, I'm going to take another one, my clean flat definer, so I can go into that gold there. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going to try it. Like, do you mean like this gold? You can't really see it too much, but trying it because she said to try it.
Dang, girl. Look at Nicole. Jeez. Who are you? All right. Please leave your number in the comments. I'm going to text you every time I have a question on color. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> wow. I love it. It's like different. Hmm. Count out, count out of the outer corner. Oh, cut out the outer corner with gold. You know what? I have something perfect for that. You just give me one second. So gorgeous. <laughs> oh my God, I was just kidding. Nicole, oh my God, I was just kidding. But I will look for you on Instagram. Or look for me and then we can talk that way. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, what a hot mess. Somebody delete her. Listen, listen, girl. I'm not going to be rude to you. I'm not going to be rude to you because that's not that's not how I roll. Uh, but Amerge Beauty, let's just take her out. Bye-bye, girl. Bye-bye. You can watch in silence, homegirl, because we don't play those stupid games here. We do not play those stupid games. We're here to chill. Didn't you read the title? Makeup and chill. To anybody watching the playback, we had somebody rude in the comments, you know. Oh, <laughs> Amberge says, I was just allowing y'all to go in on her first. Yeah, we don't play those stupid games. Get the flip out of here. Oh, I have two thumbs down. Thank you. Thank you for the engagement, honey. You don't know what you just did for me right now. We love that. <laughs> she was just being stupid. There was a girl being stupid or a guy. Who knows? She may be back. I mean, it's all right. I just like, I just think it's so hilarious how people can like hide on the internet and be stupid. Like, girl, get on up out of here and on your way out, don't forget to give me a thumbs down, okay? And don't forget to give me a thumbs down. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. You know, we have fun here. I still believe that our girl um, had a great idea and I think it looks good and so like whatever. Nicole. There we go. So it is kind of not as cut out as I'd like it to be, but I'm going to practice and I might post a picture. Um, <laughs> Denise, my sister, she knows me. She's like, please, please. Create a fake account and hit another thumbs down. We love it. Anyway, so the gold one that I used, let me just show you guys. This is JD Glow. Um, this is an, uh, an eyeliner, and this is in the shade Hollywood. And I was just telling Ruby that I was very impressed with the pigment. Like, even if, um, yeah, exactly. This is how we learn. Um, so even if I just use this one over like color, but I use it as an eyeliner, it's so pigmented. It pops so much. I'm really, really enjoying this, um, this eyeliner. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys, cause I haven't used it on camera and, um, I actually want more colors of the JD glow eyeliner because I've been so impressed with it. So although it's like, like I said, like a little messy, like whatever, it still did help me cut it out a little bit more. And so in real life, what I would have done, um, which we can just quickly do this so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, where's my concealer? What did I do with it? Shit. What I normally would do is I would take my concealer and I would just kind of clean it up on the outside just to kind of sharpen it up a little bit, you know? Um, so that's what we'll just do real quick here. That way you guys can see, but, um, JD glow neon liners like that are trash. Oh, really? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I think Willard is right. Um, can somebody delete Nicole's? Okay. You deleted it. Okay, good. Thank you. Sorry about that, Nicole. I was just joking, but you know, definitely let's connect on Instagram so that we can hang out. But yeah, there's, there's weird people on the internet, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's just weird people. 
You agree with the other girl? Well, hello, dirty food gone clean. Please make sure and hit the thumbs down on the way out. Asshole. Somebody delete him too. Who cares? Anyway, so um, I would normally go in with my... Um, with my concealer and I would just kind of clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Just so it's like really like lined up. Yeah. You know, um, the first time I got a thumbs down on a video that I had uploaded, it was actually my intro video and I, it took a while. Um, <laughs> it took a while, but I finally got a thumbs down. And when I got a thumbs down, I'm like running out of my office. And I'm like, oh, Andrew, my son, right? <laughs> I got a thumbs down. I got my first thumbs down. And he's like, why are you happy, mom? I'm like, because, you know, that means we're doing something right. Like somehow my channel's getting out to people that are not related to me, that don't know me. And that's a good thing. <laughs> So I just laugh every time I get like thumbs down, you know? Look at what an idiot. And then he gives me a thumbs down and I'm like, thanks for the engagement, asshole. This actually helps my channel. <laughs> it's called makeup and chill, bro. Just chill. All right. I don't think that looks horrible. I really don't. I think it's beautiful. I think that if a mermaid swam next to me right now, she'd be a little jealous. All right, dang, I'm not that fast on my phone. I always used to say, you know you're doing something right when you've got haters. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fine. We're here to hang out with friends, but we appreciate the engagement. All right, um... I'm not going to do lashes because like we're almost done with our live here, but I'm just going to do a quick eyeliner. Just why not? You know, so we'll just do that. People act like they're being forced to watch. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, they kind of are being forced to watch because everybody's sitting at home bored. But. You know. It's fine. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm actually in my day job in sales. And so there's tons to watch. Yeah. They do love me. Oh, my gosh. See, this is the thing is Kara's spot on. They love me. They just don't know. They don't know they love me. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> I could use the watch hours as well. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I get such a kick out of it because I'm like, vow. I vow. You guys are dumb, bro. Get the F out of here. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to hit thumbs down on the way out and don't let the door hit you on your ass on the way out anyway what i was saying is i'm in sales so like for me like over the years i've developed such thick skin that when stuff like this happens it just makes me laugh you know just like okay to be honest you guys when youtube okay look there's a lot of creators in the chat let me just take an opportunity to share what I've heard. When YouTube is getting ready to push your content out to share, you know, and in a more widespread way, manner, I should say, they start to test it. They start to test it. And then that's how you get people that show up to your lives. And you're like, the fuck are you doing here? Nobody invited you. But it's because YouTube's starting to push my content out. And, um... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I snort. Oh, my God. You guys didn't know that I snort. <laughs> I do sometimes only when it's really funny. Um, so when YouTube is getting ready to like push your content out is when like random people will kind of just hear 
like be suggested or recommended your content. I mean, if anything, I'm flattered. Hello and thank you and welcome. Like, come on in, bro. Um, give me some sort of engagement on the way out, you know. Um, I'm going to go in with this one on the lower lash line just to kind of wrap it all together. Oh my God, you guys, I really like these Terra Moon shimmers. I was not into the mattes. These shimmers are gorgeous. Look at how quickly they went on like butter. I do like it. Let me see. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm not trying to be stupid. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> this is makeup and chill, bro. I'm just trying to chill. You know what I mean? No one robs an empty house. You got something going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the snort. Look, at here's my sister. She's like, the snort means it's a real laugh. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 you know, we're having a good time, guys. We're chilling. Let's make up and chill. Duh. Hence the title. All right. So... Um, I do have a new mascara. This is the Bite Beauty Mascara. Um, yeah, Molly, I think it's really beautiful, actually. I think it's really beautiful. I love it. So I do have a new mascara. Um, it, I'm going to be honest. It's not doing, like, the most for my lashes, but that's because I've been using a lot of... Um, where's my eyelash curler? I guess I don't need to do one. Oh, here it is. Um, I've been wearing lashes a lot lately, so it's kind of wreaked havoc on my lashes. So it's not, you know, it's not making them look the best. If you want a proper review, I guess Keep Beauty Real is like the, um, the girl of the hour because Keep Beauty Real did a full review on this before the mascara was even released. Um, I think she got it in PR or something. Um, and, um, it is just such a good review so i'll go ahead and i'll put that in the description box um it has nothing to do with the actual mascara my experience it's just that my lashes are suffering right now because i've been doing a lot of lash glue and that instantly ruins them i also ran out of my shantakai mascara so i have to order it um so i just i don't know why i haven't done it like i've just been busy so but they're not bad though I'm loving lashes a lot lately. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Molly the giggle. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is Real Mermaid. I, I, You know, um, I did create a look very similar to this with um, my Pat McGrath Nirvana quad. Um, it was PR. Influencers PR. If you get it for free, it's PR, girl. Whatever. It is PR. Um, so, um, um, whatchamacallit, yeah. I never use lashes, I'm scared, I'll glue my eyes shut. <laughs> well, you know, it, 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 I was scared initially, um, just because I thought it was, like, so permanent, but you can always rip them off if they don't work, like, it's not that big a deal. But in general, I really like the brush, um, I don't have like full on like opinions about it because I just bought it, like I said, but it's a good, like not an hourglass. Is this, an, yeah, this is an hourglass, stupid. It's like an hourglass brush and it's really chunky and like it provides volume. Um, and it does like curl them, I will say. I don't know. I honestly can't give you a review when my lashes aren't doing so great. So. I would have to refer you to Kelly. I think she, I mean, the results are undeniable. They look really good in the video. And she doesn't, um, what I love about her, because see, we have Amerch Beauty in the chat. Amerch has like some crazy ass lashes. Like her lashes are long and curly and they're, they're just gorgeous. They look like falsies. She's actually worn falsies and then like her lashes are just as long. But then Kelly... She has good lashes, but um, she has good lashes, but they're not super long or super crazy. So when you have a good mascara, you can see the difference in those type of lashes. And so that's why I think her review was really good. 
So I'll link that after it processes. So I'll, I'll add her link like tomorrow so you guys can check it out if you're interested in this mascara. Generally, I do think it's good. It doesn't smudge. Like I have an issue with smudging on the lower lash line. So it doesn't smudge. And we do love it. So, yeah. That's what we got going on. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ladies, I have to run. Oh, bye, Anna. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we're almost done. We're just going to do a lip. And then we're out of here. Um, but yeah. I also, you know what I do like about this mascara is that most of the time, Shantika included, like the mascaras are too wet. So it takes like a week or two for them to like get a little dry so that they work nicely. Um, but with this one, it's not, the formula is not too wet. So they look good like right away. So I do like that as well. Um, so yeah. Um, guys, just after having this face makeup on for an hour or two, I just want to tell you that I'm really, really happy with the Salt New York. Um, the only thing that I would say is that, you know, the contour shade was a little too light, but I loved the bronzer. I loved the blush and the highlight. I thought that they were really great choices. And I am loving the formula. I'll have to do a full day wear test to see how it performs on my skin. But so far, so good. I am excited about them. All right. I am... I'm really bad with like lipsticks because I love neutral lips so, so much. I'm thinking it's a colorful look, so I would naturally go with a nude lip. Do we agree? Do we agree? Oh, I have to I have to say I like the Ordinary Buffet with Copper Peptides a lot so far. Oh, yay! I'm so excited, Amanda. Yeah, that's one of like my favorite, favorite um, serums, actually. Bye, bye, Night Star Beauty. Bye, Aileen. Oh, yay. Thanks for hanging out, Aileen. Absolutely. This was so much fun. Um, I'm so happy that you tried it because it will give your skin such a glow and it's just really hydrating. So um, nude would be nice. Okay. We were talking about um, dose of colors. So I'm just going to go in with my dose of colors nude. This is the perfect, perfect nude, you guys. The shade is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Knock on Wood. Um, it's really, really good. So it's one of my favorite nudes. Um, Bye, Aileen. Thanks for hanging out. Excuse me. Perfect, perfect nude. Um, the formula is so nice. It stays on for a very long time, but it stays very comfortable. So I never have the feeling that I have to go in with a lip balm of any kind or anything like that. Um, yeah, please check Keep Beauty Real out. Please check out Jamila, Night Star Beauty, Ashley Willard. All of these ladies have channels, so definitely check them out. Um, I think for today, this nude is perfect. I think I'm going to add a little bit of a gloss just because it's Friday. Look at me getting crazy. It's Friday. Let's add a gloss. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. Let's add a gloss. I think the gloss that I'm going to add, I never used my, um, oh shit. I never used my Fenty cream with you guys. Um, but I think it's in my bag, to be honest. I only bought one Fenty cream, but it was really pretty. Um, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use um, Tower 28. This is like, it, it was clear with gold specks in it and it's turned yellow, so maybe it's bad. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah. Now let me show you, Kelly. Check it out. 
They're, it, these swatches are incredible. I'm not too crazy about the Terra Moons mattes. Um, but yeah. Hello, YS. How are you? Yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit like on the live. Um, if you guys had fun. If you guys um, would like to share, that would also be nice. But yeah. So I'm just going to go down the middle. Look at how pretty. The gold flecks in it are so beautiful. Um, I bought this in... I bought this in April. I have a feeling that this might only have like a six month shelf life because it's turned colors on me. It used to be clear with like yellow flecks of gold and now it's all yellow. It doesn't smell bad so I'll probably just put it up on my desk so I can use it every day but there we go. We are done trying new makeup. I had so much fun, you guys. Thank you for helping me choose the colors and stuff. Like, I know that this has happened maybe once or twice where like people are acting stupid in the chat and I just, um, anytime, anytime somebody's gonna come after people in, in my community, um, anytime somebody's coming on to be rude, I'm not sensitive to it, like I don't, I really care but at the same time like that's not the community or the culture that we want to be known for here on my channel I like inclusivity I like diversity I like people being kind and loving to one another like that's my thing if you know me in real life you know I totally embody the hashtag corny crew philosophy <laughs> I'm part of Kara's corny crew and that just means like we love positivity we love love we love inclusivity we like diversity and we love and respect everyone for who they are unless if you're an asshole you're an asshole you want to be rude you will be gone so very quickly so anyways hey look and look at it i i kind of wish those three thum thumbs down would come back and look because the look came out kind of nice if i do say so myself but anyway I love you guys so much. Does anybody have any questions on the makeup that I used? I know Kelly was saying like the swatches, you know, the swatches are just gorgeous. I wasn't too crazy about the mattes, but that being said, these two mattes here weren't too bad, but the nude was broken when I got it. It was just crushed. I didn't even ask for them to replace it because it took forever to get them anyway. Um, but I do like what we got going on here. So yeah, way too much hate in the world. Um, be be a light. It's easier to be nice. I mean, duh. Hey, or in Lisa's like perfectly said words, just don't be a prick. <laughs> don't be a dick. Don't be a prick. Don't be an asshole. Get the flip out of here. I don't do that. I don't play those stupid games. I know Molly and we feel so connected to you we just like I think there's nobody in this chat that doesn't know Molly Molly is so supportive so active we love her she doesn't have a channel but she's a lover of makeup and that's all that's not required but that's all that's needed if you want to be here so anyway thanks you guys thanks for being here I love you guys so so much I love that you guys allow me to be who I am I love that I can tell somebody to like F off if I need to in front of you without being judged or misjudged, I should say. And um, yeah, Molly did say, Molly did say she was going to join one of our lives. So I'll be DMing you, Molly, uh, because we got to get that done. So um, thanks for hanging out. Make sure and definitely give me a like if you're watching the replay. Um, thanks so much for watching up until this point. Make sure and join us on Sunday if you're interested. We're going to have a 1,000 subscriber celebration live. That would be Sunday, January, January 10th, 2021, just in case you're watching the replay later. Uh, but we're going to have a great time. So anyway, thanks so much for being here. I love you guys. Definitely finish your bottles of wine if you haven't already done so. <laughs> I will. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Yay!